Hello friends, this is DK Gautam and thank you for joining Interview Point. And I am back with the most important topic. You will enjoy this video, but most important thing is please watch this video till the end. It is the most important video for you. Before going to start this video, if you haven't subscribed my YouTube channel, then please subscribe my YouTube channel. Here you will get all the latest interview questions and all the related uh, SQL Server, C Sharp, and ASP.NET question you will get. So now let's get started. So my first query is write a query to get second highest salary from the employee table. So before going to start this, first I need to create some table and database. So I'm just going to create database and table and will work on this query. Okay. So I have some script ready. So I'm just going to paste it here. So first I need to create a database. So I'm going to create database with interview point so this interview interview point database is not available here so just create this database so database is created here and now i am going to use this database so now click on the database and refresh you will get this interview point database here interview point so here there is no table available okay so i am just going to create some table here i am creating the state table and city table and employee table in the employee table i have filled id that is a primary key name email id email id is a unique key make sure and this is the id is the primary key mobile salary also the department city id here city id is coming from the city table so that is the foreign key okay and state id state id is also foreign key okay so it will come from the state table okay so just click on it refresh you will get all the three tables here city state and employee okay so i need to info insert some data here so i have script ready for this also so state and city is done now Im import this employee record also so now we can see employee table we are having data so first query is write a query to get second highest salary from the employee table so i'm just going to select it so you can see the data uh, i am having a salary column so i want to select second highest salary so i think 80000 is the highest salary so i want this 75000 salary so it is the uh, 75 is the second highest salary so i want this okay so this is the query select max of salary from employees where salary less than select max of salary from employees so this is the sub query i am using here so i am putting one condition here less than okay so it will get the uh, this will get highest salary this query will get the highest salary that is 80000 okay 80000 and i am putting one condition here less than so it will get the it will also get the max salary but less than this salary okay so this this query will fulfill my condition and i will get the expected output that is 75000 okay so now let's move to the second query so the second query is write a query to get last record from the employee table okay so i want the last record from the employee table so let's discuss second query select top of name so we can see here i am having the mukesh is the last employee so i want the last employee from the employee table so if i will execute this query i will get the output here like name if i will i want to get complete data then i will put asterisk and we will get the complete output here that is 11 mukesh the mukesh record i will get okay so the third query will be write a query to get number of employees in each department okay so to get the count of employees in each department for that i have a query select department and count of asterisk i will get as a count okay as count if you will not put count then it will also print as count from employee group by department so i am get i am grouping by department name okay so execute this query you will get in the end of department i have three employee dot net i have five employee java i have two employee and python i have only one employee okay so this is a very simple query but it is the most important so the next query is 
If you haven't watched my previous video that is top 25 csap.net interview question then please watch that video it is the very important video so I am giving the link in the i button and you will get that video okay so now let's talk about this query write a query to get details of all employees who are working in Delhi location so guys I don't have any Delhi location in my table you can see this is the city table I don't have so I have new Delhi so I will get this Delhi in employee table I don't have city but I have city ID here okay city ID so I will match the city from the city table and will join this query and I will get the data okay so the select extract from employee where city ID I am getting the city ID from this sub query this is the sub query and I am okay so I will get the new Delhi ID here so you will execute this you will get the id here one and i will get here one so i will get the all the data from one city okay so now execute this query and you will get the data so you can see here delhi locations employees data we received here or new delhi location okay so now move to the next query that is write a query to find employees whose name start with s okay so guys this is the like condition I am putting here I am I will get the data by using like condition so write a query to find employees whose name start with s okay so actually I am having an employee here some of the employees John Peter Mohan Shohan Ram Ajay so I want only that uh, whose name is start with s okay so I will execute this query I am putting the like condition here s and percentage of this so I am going to execute this you can see all the employees whose name is, is start from S I got all the records so I if someone want that uh, employee name is start, end with N you need to find the employee record whose name end with N so I will get that record also by putting the N in the after the percentage symbol so you can see all the employee name is end with N okay so like that we will get all the record so the next query is write a query to create table and copy all the data from another table so here i want to create new table and i want to get the, the all data from the previous table so this is the previous table i am having employee table this is the previous table so i want to copy all the this data and i want to put this data into the another table okay so now i am going to write this query also so i am going to create that employee table employee 2018 so this is this table is not available here you can see here so this table is not available so i i, I will get the all the data from the employee table and i will put all the data into this table so this is also the most important interview query so you can see eleven row affected you if you will see here refresh and you will get one more table here 2018 you will get that data also okay you will get all the same data so the next query will be write a query to get last inserted id so how i will get the last inserted id so i am going to write this query also so we can find uh, the last inserted id with two ways so i have two ways to find it out select scope scope identity is the uh, provided function by sql server so you can see the 11 okay so we can also provide the employee table name and we will get the, uh, the same output okay so guys you can see the same output okay so this is the very important query but most of the candidate not able to answer this question so the move to the next query so next query is write a query to display sum of salary from employee table based on the department so i am going to write this query so guys select department i am going to find out the sum of salary based on the department so i will using group by function here group by and i am grouping with the based on the department so i will get the sum of salary based on the department so i will get the department name and salary so you can see the output so i will see i will provide the name as salary okay so you can see the output and see in that android departments total the 
and .NET department total and Java department total and Python department total. Okay, so this is the very simple query select department comma sum of the salary as salary. This is the alias name we can say from employee table and group by department. Okay, so it is a very simple query. So move to the next query. So my next query is write a query to get third highest salary from the employee table without using max. Okay, so I don't want max function and I want the third highest salary from the table. This query is little bit complicated. So let's, uh, let's understand this query. Select salary from the employee. So I am giving the alias name E1 minus 1. Okay. And select this is the sub query select count distinct of the salary from employee e2 i am getting the result from the same so i am giving the alias name here e2 and here e1 okay where i am providing the condition here okay the condition is e2 means this table salary greater than salary this e1 table so if you will select this query what output you will get you can see so actually i don't have this even in this so i will i cannot execute this query so i will i have to execute complete query okay so now you can see the salary is 20 oh sorry 65000 third highest salary is 65000 so we can see in the employee table 65000 so this is the 65000 employee uh, android it is work, he is working in the M android department the salary is 65000 top salary is 80000 and second top second is 75 and top third is 65000 okay so now move to the next query my next query is write a query to add new column in the employee table so it is the very simple query so suppose if i want to add one column suppose i want to add uh, date of birth column in the employee table so i can write here like alter employee add i am just providing the uh, dov do column name and data type so we can see table and i will execute this query and i will get the output so if i will execute this again now we will see the new date of birth column here okay so my next query is write a query to drop date of birth column from employee table so i have just added that dov column and I want to drop this column alter table employee and drop column DOB. So now just I am going to drop this and execute this query. I'm just going to execute this query. Okay, execute the DOB column is dropped from this table. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Please subscribe our YouTube channel if you haven't subscribed. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. This is my blog URL. You can check it out, guys. If you have any doubt, you can ask me through comment. Please provide your feedback. Thanks.